I have no idea what's in these boxes, but I do know one thing. It's Star Wars. We're less than a week away from Rogue One, and I gotta admit, I'm kind of excited. Uh, I'm trying not to be excited because I don't want to be let down, but uh, coincidentally, these two boxes showed up on my front porch, and I hadn't ordered anything or bought anything, and when I looked closely at the labels, it said Seth Hastings' Plastic Galaxy, which can only mean one thing, Star Wars. I, I don't know what Seth has sent us, but I'm thrilled to find out what's in here because he runs an awesome store uh, in Oklahoma called uh, Plastic Galaxy, and he specializes in nothing but Star Wars toys and collectibles. Uh, so let's break open these boxes and see what's in here. I cannot imagine what's in here. There's a note. Retro Blasting, thanks for all the awesome videos, especially Star Wars. Thank you. Seth Hastings, Plastic Galaxy. Well, that's very nice. I got my blue snaggletooth from Seth uh, the day I walked into his shop randomly just to visit it and see what it was like. And uh, it, it was a cool day. It was really awesome to see his, his shop. It is amazing, and I, I wish him all the success in the world. Business card on bubble wrap. Uh-oh. I think Seth is trying to get retro blasting into modern. This is a Rogue One Stormtrooper action figure. And I gotta tell you, it is easily the best looking Stormtrooper action figure since the vintage. I've, I've looked at it uh, in stores like Target. I've eyed it a little bit. I mean, it, it's a good looking action figure for sure. We also have, wow. We have uh, Felicity Jones. We have Jen Erso in some sort of Hoth-like goggled outfit. Uh, I guess we've seen that periodically in the trailers. Um, Sergeant Jen Erso Eadu, -E Eadu, E-A-D-U. Don't know. Doing my best. Bust Ups Series Six Snaggletooth. Oh, it's a, uh, that's literally what it is. It's a, it's a little bust of Snaggletooth. His arm is in here. I guess you're supposed to build him or something. He's uh, holding his drink and looking very dapper. Very nice. Does that mean you can break him because he's a bust up? I guess so, yeah. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Shirts. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Seth. He sent us a Plastic Galaxy shirt. This is a store I am proud to promote. Wow. Vintage Star Wars sticker set from, I believe, 77 or 78. I'm not real up on my, uh, on my tops card wrapper colors and what year that denotes this says 78 on the back that's awesome uh oh we got black series here he's trying seth you're trying to get us into modern i can feel it i know what you're trying to do <clears throat> sergeant jen urso black series very nice. That is actually a really good sculpt. I'm very impressed with the sculpt on this figure. It really does look good. Um, it, you know, all things considered. Imperial Death Trooper. We've known this uh, character for a long time in the expanded universe is just I don't remember what they used to call the stormtrooper that was all black. It was uh, Shadow Squadron or something like that. I, I can't remember, but it's funny that they're finally officially putting this in the movies. Captain Cassian Andor, also in a Hoth 
sort of Han Solo-ish looking coat with a Luke Skywalker Hoth-ish hat with scarf. He kind of looks like your brother. He does kind of look like my brother. If you haven't seen my brother before, you might remember him from the opening of the Dungeons and Dragons uh, video where we're all playing Dungeons and Dragons with Broken Vader. Um, so compare notes. And K2SO, the, uh, the droid played by Alan Tudyk in the film. Um, I'm really excited about this movie. I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't watched anything but the official trailers. I've uh, stayed away from all the reviews and the, the, the news pegs and everything like that. I'm going in kind of cold just because it looks really good. It doesn't give me the, the nervous feeling that, that Force Awakens did when I was watching those previews. And there's something else here. <clears throat> Wait a minute. What? This can't be... What? I see vintage. I see vintage Star Wars. In a star case, no less. Wow. It's a vintage week way from Return of the Jedi, still in, in the card back, still on his card back, with very minimal yellowing on the bubble. That is beautiful. You know, it's funny because week way is really one of the only <laughs> figures from Return of the Jedi that legitimately carries a stick um in the in the scenes and he actually has a pose for that that staff um he, he's he's to me one of the the least offensive return of the jedi figures for that reason and this one is just in great shape uh, i don't have many carded vintage so seth thank you so much this is very generous of you i'm gonna keep this one real safe in the in the uh, star case here I can't believe I have another box to open, so we'll get to that right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. No, there's no way. So, first he sent us some Star Wars lanyard. Star Wars pop vinyl lanyards. I know that right now Seth is laughing at me uh, because he knows how much I can't stand pop vinyls. That's all right. I will get you back. Somehow I will get you back. And I'm really blown away by what this is. I can already see it. I cannot believe that Seth, that you sent this to me. This is... I can't believe it. He must have remembered a conversation we had in his shop. Uh, Seth, he knows my favorite action figure is Bespin Luke. He sent me the jumbo, the, the gentle giant jumbo Bespin Luke. Dude, that's insane. Like, I can't believe that you did that. That is so generous. Thank you so much. Like, I, I, I always eyed these, and I never bought many of them because they're just so expensive and they take up so much space. And, I mean, Luke Bespin was kind of the, the one that I would get. You know, Melinda has Bosk because that's her favorite character. Of course, because he's the best character. He's, Melinda thinks Bosk is the best character. But Bespin Luke is my favorite vintage figure by far. Uh, Bespin Luke, a.k.a. Empire Strikes Back Luke, is my ultimate hero. He's Luke Skywalker's my favorite character in Star Wars, period. This is awesome. This is awesome. And coincidentally, I just bought the Anovos Bespin jacket and pants. So, uh, this is great. Thank you, Seth. This is awesome. So cool. And there's more. More hits by all the original artists. 
What? So I'm I'm officially I'm officially saying that that Seth is um, beautifully insane. He sent me the U-wing fighter from the Rogue One line with Cassian Andor as the pilot. Uh, here's the deal, okay? Retro blasting is officially not about modern stuff, and you know that. Um, Seth is trying to drag us kicking and screaming into modern, or maybe it's because of those conversations that you and I have had where you've seen me express my hopes and enthusiasms for Rogue One, and you're, you know, just really trying to, you know, make this a positive experience for me. Either way, thank you so much. I'm really hoping that this movie is awesome, and I'm trying not to fanboy out about it, uh, because I'm trying to leave a little bit of room for the possibility that it, it will be a letdown. Uh, I have a confession to make. The confession is that when the Lost in Space trailer debuted, for the movie with Matt LeBlanc and Gary Oldman. When I saw the trailer to this, I mean, even to this day, I will tell you, it's one of the greatest trailers ever made. And I was like, oh, that movie's gonna be awesome. And I was totally wrong. And the movie was terrible. This, I don't think this is gonna be like that at all, but I, the, the fact that, that you have, have picked up on that and you're, I, I, I don't know, I hope it's great, and I can't believe that you sent me all this stuff, because if this movie is great, then I will already have a collection of Rogue One uh, to springboard off of. Wow. I, I'll never be big on the nerf darts, I, I, but... Uh, I think Seth has officially called my hand on this. If Rogue One is good, if I like Rogue One, I will review these toys for you guys. If Rogue One is awesome, I will take time out and I will review the Rogue One toy line. All right, you heard it here first. You mean if you think it's awesome? If I think it's awesome. Okay. If Melinda thinks it's not awesome and I think it's awesome, then there might be some kind of fight. Oh no, I'm a hater. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if Rogue One is awesome, I, I, I will... I will review these toys in a special retro blasting one-off for what is possibly going to be the ultimate retro Star Wars movie. Hopefully. So Seth, uh, I, I, had, I don't have any words. Um, to everybody out there who hasn't heard of Seth Hastings and Plastic Galaxy, he posts a lot on the Imperial Commissary. Uh, he runs an amazing store. Uh, you gotta check him out on Facebook. Um, he's an honest guy. He, he finds the best stuff, buy from him, he's, he's great. Um, so thanks for watching this, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, which is gonna be Christmas themed.